Pre-orders for the iPhone 8 have begun ahead of shipments on September 22nd. The iPhone X is coming soon, but it carries a hefty price tag compared to the 8. And quantities are going to be limited, so it may be even longer before you can get your hands on one. Some say not much has changed between the iPhone 7 and iPhone 8, but like all annual iPhone updates, there are a few hardware and software features that make the new model a worthwhile investment. We'll take you through everything you need to know. First off, it comes in two sizes, 4.7 inch and 5.5, just like the 7. The dimensions are slightly larger on both 8 and 8 Plus models, but your old iPhone 7 case should still fit unless it's a precisely built hard case. The weight on the other hand has changed, with almost half an ounce added to each model. You have three color options, a new gold shade, silver, and space gray. The gold is lighter compared to the previous models, and the silver looks slightly different as well. Gone is the jet black and rose gold for this year. The back of the iPhone 8 is glass to enable wireless charging. The seams between the frame and glass are so smooth that they almost disappear. Compared to the iPhone 6 and 7 series devices, iPhone 8's antenna bands are now more discreet and no longer run across the rear case. Also on the handset's back, the camera bump reverts back to a two-part ring mount design seen in iPhone 6 and 6S, as it is no longer possible to craft the section out of the rear chassis material. Apple has also removed manufacturing information text below the iPhone logo on the back of the device, instead opting for a digital version located in device settings. Moving on to technical specs, we now get 64GB of base storage, with an option of 256 for an extra 150 bucks, which is a better deal than last year, since you're paying only 78 cents per gig instead of a dollar and four cents. Although the new iPhone 10 gets a new Super Retina display, the iPhone 8 gets the same display as the 7, except for the added True Tone feature, which adjusts the color temperature of the screen to match surrounding lighting. The 8 is still rated IP67 for splash, water, and dust resistance. Inside, a brand new 6-core A11 Bionic chip powers the iPhone 8 with two high-performance cores that are 25% faster than the ones in the A10, and four high-efficiency cores, making for overall performance 70% faster than the outgoing model. Unofficial benchmarks posted to Geekbench show the iPhone 8 and X completely destroy top mobile chips in both single and multi-core performance. Also upgraded in iPhone 8 is Apple's Motion Coprocessor, which now boasts the M11 designation. Graphics is upgraded to a new Apple-designed 3-core GPU, which is 30% faster than the A10, but uses half the power. The 8 also gets a brand new dual-core neural engine chip, which is mostly meant for processing facial recognition on the iPhone X, but also has some uses for machine learning in photos and other areas. The cameras are exactly the same as last year, except for a new sensor, which allows for 4K recording at 60 frames per second and 1080p at 240 frames per second for slow-mo videos. This sensor also has deeper pixels that lend in 83% more light, which will help with wider dynamic range and should noticeably reduce noise seen in low-light photos. There is also a new image signal processor, which makes for faster autofocus, pixel processing, and hardware noise reduction, a huge deal that will ultimately improve image quality. The front-facing FaceTime HD camera, on the other hand, stays exactly the same. The larger 8 Plus gets a new portrait lighting feature, which uses depth information to enable dynamic subject lighting effects, even in post. Although minor, you also get a new slow sync flash feature. A host of new augmented reality features are coming as well. If you'd like to learn more on that, click the card above. iPhone 8 sports revamped stereo speakers that are 25% louder than the 7s, with deeper bass as well. Battery life is about the same as previous generation hardware, except the 8 is now fast charge capable. That means users can achieve an up to 50% charge in 30 minutes. The new glass back now allows for wireless charging, which works with Qi supported chargers. It'll get even better when Apple releases their upcoming AirPower wireless charger, allowing up to three Apple devices to be charged at the same time, including Apple's upcoming AirPods wireless charging case. The 8 now also supports Bluetooth 5.0 and NFC with reader mode. Finally, iPhone 8 ships with iOS 11, Apple's next generation mobile operating system that will be available to the public as a free download. Click the card above to get more info on that. Pricing is $699 for the base iPhone 8 and $799 for the 8 Plus. You can upgrade to 256GB of storage on either device for an extra $150. The iPhone X will start at $999 and won't be available for order until late October, 
So now's the time to decide whether you want to pre-order the 8 today or wait for Apple's OLED flagship. If you enjoyed this video, like it and hit that subscribe button. Also, check out our price guide, which makes it extremely easy to find the best deals on Apple products updated daily. Be sure to follow us on social media and we'll see you in the next video.